All right, guys, here we are. A long overdue update on my Battletech in a Box project. And if you're jumping in on this video right now, I am working on a club project, a hobby project, where I'm gonna have two fully built out multiple lances, some terrain, I'm gonna have a city fight board, get everything set up, and it's all gonna fit in one box. So this way I can take it to and from the club, take it to and from friends' houses to play, essentially everything Battletech ready to go. Try to bring in some new players, golden age of Battletech. And I'm working on the terrain first. I'm not gonna mix and match. I've got my mechs, they have to be primed, they gotta be ready to go. But if I jump back and forth, nothing's really gonna get done. And I wanna get this amazing Hex City terrain up and running. And uh, underneath in the info box of this video is a link to Death Ray Designs, the Hex City terrain. This is specifically Battletech scaled terrain. Put it together, went really fast, really good. I've got it primed, a little bit of a delay. I'm about a week and a half, two weeks behind because it has been freezing here. It is, as of this vlog, January 23rd or 24th here in New York, and it's been so cold I, I couldn't even prime anything. And I can't do it inside because my setup isn't equipped for that. So I was waiting for a day where it could at least get warm enough that I could come out here and prime it, get it ready to go. So I've got the Hex City, I'm gonna do the Max, I had to do two coats so far with this terrain. Obviously the MDF board soaks up the paint, but again, went on really quick, really, really fast. That'll be on top. Uh, I've got the glass effects separate. What I am gonna do, and we touched on this with part one, is I'm gonna drill out a couple of areas here after I paint it, put in LEDs or just maybe one of those LED candles, drop it in the top so this way I can have some lighted effects with it because I figured that uh, since these buildings are hollow inside, they, they kind of demand uh, a little bit of that attention. It's a great opportunity to do minimal conversion or, or quick conversion work and, and really have it stand out more. So this is the first set. I've got the other two sets over there priming and driving, drying right now. It's gonna be a, a whole tabletop of terrain. So next will be the paint. We'll look at that, then we're gonna do some of the LED, we're gonna do some of the decal work on there, some weathering effects, maybe some battle damage, and cycle back around then over to the other parts of the terrain. 